Hey everybody, Boftis here, and welcome to my new series on Crusader Kings 2, where I'm playing as this guy, Duke Theodoret of Cyrus of Mesopotamia. He is an historian who is, well, a custom character, really, because there aren't any Nestorian characters in the game. Now, Nestorianism is a separate religion in the game. It used to be an, uh, a heresy of orthodoxy. It's now, now its own thing. Um, Nestorianism in real life was the name given to the teachings of a guy called Nestorius. He was branded a heretic at the county at the Council of Chalcedon. And his followers, as that they were, he was he wasn't really a he didn't name it his own religion, he was it was a disagreement. Uh his followers in the Eastern Church sort of backed him and there was a bit of a kerfuffle about it. Unfortunately there aren't many there aren't any Nestorian characters in the basic starts. Um, there's a religious province, like, that is Nestorian pretty much throughout all the starts for some reason. And, um, a couple of Mongol characters later on are Nestorian, but I don't want to play as them. So I'm playing as a small custom character in the foothills of Armenia. So I've gone for Armenian culture, because it makes sense, and also Greek culture for castrations, blinding, and cataphracts. cataphracts? Um, couldn't say it then. Uh, and Nestorian, obviously, because Nestorian. Now, I've had a couple of tests, not with this guy in particular, but I've made one down here, and um, I'm pretty sure I did this guy down here as well, I convert, like started off there, and I get crushed very quickly. So, um, one thing to bear in mind is that, I mean, what, what religion am I actually in? Myophysite, because obviously there's the Myophysite Duke of Armenia to my east, and the Orthodox Basilius Basilios. The Byzantine Empire, both of whom I'm pretty sure can holy war me. Perhaps can I holy war this guy? No, it's a judge. Did you claim? Oh, okay. So this is actually better than I thought, because I always expected that um it would be a sort of they'd be able to holy war me because I'm a separate religion. But then again, I'm not a heresy, and it's not like Christianity and Orthodox can holy war each other until one is branded a heresy. So yeah, I've my Eastern and northern border are fairly secure, so I only really have to deal with these guys if they decide to get uppity. Uh, which they might do. I mean, what am I looking at troops-wise? 1.6. That's not as many as I'd like. Now, in terms of a thing, I'm going to go decide to get married. And immediately, I don't have many friendly faces in court because these are all Armenian Myophysites or Sunnis or something like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to convert to my local religion because I can't, I don't want to. I'm going to present a debutante called Delita, and the reason I've done that is that she'll be in my culture and my religion, and she has a stutter. I don't. Um, I'm going to. I'm going to spend another gold to get another debutante who hopefully doesn't have a congenital thing, and she's ugly. Oh god, what are the chances here? I mean, I'm not. I'm not shallow, but I just don't think it's a good start, really. That's better. She's still crap, but that's better. Is there anyone I can actually marry that's already existing? I get an alliance with the Carling, so I don't think they're going to really do much. Um, alliance with King Boris of Bulgaria, that could be more more worthwhile. Um, and no one else is really of use. They're all vassals or too far away. Uh, I might, I'm going to go with Bulgaria. The Bulgarian. How old is she, though? 12. That's not too long. Yeah, so I'll marry a Bulgarian. Um, and my focus is going to be on war, I think, because I have a bad feeling uh, that these guys down here are going to get a bit aggressive. Now, what I am going to do is, because these guys are not my religion and not my culture, I am going to demand they give in. Now, what is important to know is that I don't have any counts to worry about. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to choose the guys who 98% I'm going to go for this. Oh, you're kidding. 98%. <laughs> I'll raise my armies. And uh I'm basically I'm going to revoke these titles while I have the chance. Because they already hate me. I don't need them carrying on with all their hating. He will give it in. So I will demand that of him. Can I revoke this? 
Yes, that's also a yes. Okay. So I will, hopefully, I haven't applied any counsellors yet because I don't have anyone to put in those sort of positions. He has given in. Good. And he has not, which is less good. So my capital is basically revolting against me. But they are just barons, so once I take this uh, main thing, I'll be fine. Will this guy say yes? I don't have the prestige to revoke it. What if I try and imprison him? How well will that go? 19% chance. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go this guy. Armenian Bogomolist. Could try and com demand conversion, but I don't think that's gonna work. Uh. Okay, so I'm going to have this guy suppress revolts in Karen, which will give me the better chance of prisoning him, 29%. Should have done with the, with the first guy, 98%. That's incredible. <laughs> and I still managed to fuck it up somehow. What did I do? Oh, and here we go. This is what I knew would happen. Yes, you can marry her. Um, yeah, so this guy's... Who is it? That guy? Yeah, he's going to war with me. Which is less good. And so is this guy. The two people I knew would go to war with me. Fancy that. I've, I've read their minds. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, borrow money from the Jews and then expel the Jews, because I need lots of money at the moment. And with that, I'll be able to hire a small mercenary company, which should hopefully be enough to win this war. They're going to Colonia. I mean, defensively, I have good defense from the mountains and river crossings and all that sort of stuff. So, okay, they're going to Karen. That's, that's not good. I'm going to leave my Merc company to besiege that down because they don't have the morale to actually have a fight at the moment. I mean, what am I losing? I'm losing a lot of money now. How much are they costing? That's a lot of money. That's a very lot of money. Keep it holding the city for now because there's no point giving away land yet because they're just going to hate me after other, other stuff. Or will they? Oh dear. Okay, so I need to get this army back quick this guy wants peace so I'll give him peace he's imprisoned and because he's a traitor I can revoke his title easily which is exactly what I'm gonna do it's basically just trying to survive at this stage um, split this army in half this one can go and fight over there when were they gonna get there? 25th of July Okay, so at the risk of... I mean, who's leading troops here? Is it, is, is, these are my guys, aren't they? Yeah, I'm going to keep them over here. Auto balance unit? There we go, that's better. And uh, I'm going to risk fighting in mountains. A river crossing? I'm guessing it's a river crossing. Tyan Kliat, there we are. Yes, uh, I'm going to risk it. Okay, I've managed to crush them straight away. That's a nice chunk of war score. So I'm going to cross, uh, hop across the border. And that's the advantage of this particular mercenary crump in their horse archers. So they, they have to do very well in the skirmish phase. Which is what the first phase of battle is, which means they immediately revolt, uh, broke. Cool, so I can now revoke the titles of these guys. Except I can't. Can I execute them? All vassals have been by 10 because I've executed him, but I've inherited the title. Uh, and this one, I can't revoke this because... Uh, I'm going to try and revoke it anyway. 25 prestige. Where do I... I'm not going to get the prestige then, am I? Him? Okay, fair enough, whatever. Uh, so I'm going to just give that land away, just give me some piety, and I'll just make do with that for now. They're not going to cause much trouble. So, okay, so this guy is, I need, who actually does like me? This guy. He's actually got half decent uh, intrigue, so that's fine. Um, but unfortunately, he's my only actual bishop. My other bishop is an imam. So, that's, that won't work. <laughs> um, now, could I go and fight this guy? I might, I'm going to risk it. Because otherwise I'm going to run out of money. 
So hopefully, yes, there's a river crossing, but I do have a very good mercenary company. And that's what counts. So I'm going to crush this army. Again. Head into Militine, crush this one. And then split my forces so that I can properly besiege them down. So one can go to Odessa and one can go. One can stick around. Magyar nomads no more. And what have they got? They've got a very small Hungary. They're not really going crazy anymore. They just go for Hungary and nothing else. Now in terms of uh, what this series, what the long term goals are. Obviously short term is, is survive. Because I've, as you've just seen, it's not a it's not a friendly place for an Estorian at the moment. Um, it will be once I survive and get a bigger country, get some claimants on other thrones, and get Nestorian to spread. But um, yeah, in terms of long term goals, once I've got past the surviving aspect of the game, I've got a bone to pick with the Byzantine Empire, and um, yeah, I think that'll be part of it. I might go. I might try and take control of the Byzantine Empire. You can no longer fix the schism as an Astorian. You used to be able to when it was a heresy, but now it's its own religion, you can't. Um, so I could go for that, or I could... Um, I think I will go for... The medium goal is going to become a king. And I'm in Armenia, so I might as well become the king of Armenia. This guy will probably get there before me, because he own, already owns most of it. Uh, diligent? Did I become diligent? I did not. Yes, in terms of the character, the traits I've chosen, I'll let this tick on for a bit. Uh, I've got Lostful, because it's actually neutral. You, it doesn't cost you a year, it doesn't cost you, it doesn't give you a year. Um, if you haven't used the customization DLC, you, each trait and each skill has a benefit and a cost. Like, a really good ones, like Genius or something, will make you older. Um, worse ones will make you younger. So, you can make a really good character, but he'll be about 80 and he'll die quick. But you can make a really crap character, who, but he'll be 16. So it's a trade-off. I'm trying to balance the traits. I've gone for Wounded, try and get the thing down, because that can heal. Um, of course, I could die before that heals, and then this series is over. Which would suck, <laughs> because I just have to start again. But I'm pretty sure it will heal at some point, as long as... Um, well, as long as I don't die before. Then I'll be fine. So I'll speed this up. Because I'm pretty sure once I... I mean, I'm getting ticking war score from uh, controlling it. But... Oh, crap. Wait, only one of those armies is actually hostile, isn't it? Uh, Berkacid Emirate. Where the Ber... He's not hostile to me. So that shouldn't actually be the full 5,000. It is! What the hell? Okay, get out of there. Everyone retreat back to there. Oh, you might... What the... Where has this army come from? Um, where's my army come from? Hang on. I'm confused. What's going on? <laughs> I've killed some guy. That's good. They're all coming back to me. And I'm no longer rooted. That's good. But all of a sudden, things are looking pretty grim. Because all of a sudden, 8,000 fucking men are trying to kill me. Berkus, it's the... Is this a glitch? Is this part of the game I don't understand? What if I get a white piece? Off a white piece? Uh, I lose prestige, I think? I'm just trying to get a white piece, and that's fine. White piece. Okay, so. I'm looking better. I've survived. I'm no longer wounded. But I'm still I'm confused about that. I'm going to look into that because it doesn't really make much sense. Like, why would they? Still don't have enough prestige to revoke that title. Um, but I should be able to. Eventually. Now, um, the benefits of Nestorianism, it's essentially orthodoxy, apart from the doesn't have the uh, legacy of Rome mechanics to go with it. You can't restore the Roman Empire, you can't fix the schism. What you do have are autocephalous patriarchs, which are essentially, once you're a king, 
Um, your... That is... The Aglobids. Where are the Aglobids? Oh, up there. That would be so much better if it was the Abbasids. The Hashemids. What the hell's just happened? Wait, the Hashemids start out independent, don't they? I think. Do they not? Okay, they must do. Um, yeah, the Autocephalus Patriarchs, they basically mean that once you're a king, they answer directly to you. So they're basically a pet pope that's not a king. So you can use them to excommunicate, you can get them to grant um, invasion CBs. It's It should be pretty good once I'm in a better position. Now speaking of, she's 13, I've still got a few more years until I get that alliance. Tasty Tasty Alliance. And once I do have that alliance, I'm going to be sending everyone over there to keep him happy. So that I actually do get someone useful. Uh, invite Holy Man. Has to be Piety. Will that really count as Court Chaplain? No. Nope. Okay. Is there anyone better who will actually like me? This guy. Why is he both ambitious? Oh, shut up, you. Make him that guy and then him that. Wonderful. Right, so now I can get about converting. Because I do need to have some good old fashioned Nestorian subjects. I also need to have kids. So I might actually change this to seduce, but I can't yet, can I? No, I've got to wait four years. Because I could do with. Because then I could legitimise and I'd have an heir before I died and. This was all for nothing. But uh, yeah, so uh, in terms of long-term goals, obviously I mentioned the Byzantine Empire thing. Um, well, Nestorius did nothing wrong, so he might as well, his followers might as well uh, rule the Roman Empire. I mean, it's only fair, really. So that's one potential thing. Um, and it could be that once I'm strong enough, I, vassal, I offer to become a vassal of the Byzantines and work my way up from there or who knows but it should be quite a fun campaign this I have been looking forward to this ever since um, someone suggested it in the comments I was just like oh yes Nestorian that's a nice challenge and the Georgian revolt is in a bit of a bad way is it in a oh the Duke of Armenia is being attacked by the Abbasids Holy War for Azerbaijan which is one bit of land. So that's that's good. Because I need this these guys to stay relatively strong. So that I can um, stay fairly safe from anyone else. When do these truces run out? Okay, I've got ten years. And I, See, that's the thing. A holy war is asking for trouble. Because that means that everyone else is going to get involved. Um, so I need to be careful. He doesn't hold Antioch. I do need to get him back into Antioch. Uh, who's this guy? Why is he randomly educating this guy? Is, this, is that to be a successor? Possibly. Polish and beliefs. Trying to convert me. Engage him in theological debate. Maybe I can convert him. Yes, I have converted him. I've got a good Nestorian subject now. This is great. Um, I'm going to marry you off to someone. Get more of them. Okay, so this guy does not like me at all. I have the prestige to revoke a title now. I'm going to revoke this bishopric. Oh, no, I can't. Ah, well, I'll revoke this guy because I've got him in prison, so I should be able to because he's, he's a traitor, yes. So, create a new vassal. Armenian historian. All good. And I've paid this guy, apparently. Why don't I just banish him? I don't know. Because he's not the right faith. But whatever. So I'm, I mean, I'm going... Uh, I can't speak. Gaining money, which is good. After I had to turf the Jews out. After robbing them. Um, I can blind some people. Castrate this guy. There's no one to cut. He's insane. <laughs> Uh, ransom? Anyone I can ransom. This guy I can ransom. I'll ransom him. Wonderful. That's a little bit. Ten gold that go towards it. Greatly impressed by the wisdom of local Mifasite. Preacher, heresy or not, I'm starting to believe it is too dangerous. No. 
I mean, my Fazite is also Nest is also Eastern, but I do want to stick with Nestorian. If I wanted my Fazite, I could have gone with Armenia or uh, somewhere down here. I mean, what's my moral authority? 25.5. Uh, the diplomacy of my patriarch and the piety of my patriarch is what's the difference. Because I didn't technically win the Holy War. Which would have been good. That would have made it a lot easier to convert. Um, I mean, I could take advantage of the fact this guy's currently in revolt. I mean, has he called the Georgians in on any of them? Yes, one of them. Uh, I could get a du jour claim on that. What allies? He does not like him very much. Just like me, he hates, likes me even less. Because he's a zealot. Okay. Well, anyway, um, I'm going to end this episode here, this first episode here. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.